So, just got my tackle warehouse order. $250 worth. There it is. As you guys can see, it's a mess in here. Uh, baits off plastics, line spooling station, lines, trash. So let me set up and uh, we'll do an unboxing. One second. All right, so. All right, so I'm comfy now. GoPro doesn't seem to want to work today. Spliced my finger yesterday on some braid. But um, let's do this. So like I said, uh, this was part of Tackle Warehouse's Black Friday, 20% offer. Uh, I got $250 worth of stuff. And I know the camera's a little off because I am using my phone, unfortunately, because the GoPro won't turn on. It's a Hero Black, uh, I'm sorry, Hero 3 Black Edition. And uh, it's been plagued with the same bug that everybody seems to have with that. It doesn't turn on and yada, yada, yada. Whatever. So, let me put this out the way. $265.47 was the grand total. Sorry, there's a whole bunch of lures over here that I've been tinkering with. <clears throat> so, we went with everything. So, first and foremost, yeah, first and foremost, t shirt, Tackle Warehouse. I think this is the third one I have. They are cut small, so uh, I ended up going with the small last time, but this time I'm going with the medium to make sure it actually fits, because sometimes they're always cut huge. So, appreciate that type of warehouse. It's free. Better be free for $250, so. Um, first and foremost, as part of the unboxing, I'm a big fan of Sunline FC Sniper. Um, I got 12 pound, 14 pound. Uh, 14 I usually put on my medium heavies, Texas rig, Carolina rig, um, even pitching light stuff, uh, flipping light stuff. Uh, as far as 12 pound, <clears throat> being them in South Jersey, uh, I can't go anything lower than 12 pound or I feel like it's going to break off on stumps and such. 12 pound to use on anything medium. Um, Crank baits, jerk baits. Uh, I could go lower, but I just found that 12 pound always works really well. Um, these are 300. I'm sorry, 660 yards each. I had these. I go through them pretty quickly because um, I often like to throw in places I shouldn't in a lot of line fray. So I had to spool, unspool, respool, and then I put them backed with braid. If not, I'll put it with some cheap monofilament. Um, these are new, I, I, I was telling, uh, one of the guys I met as far as just getting some cheap sunglasses, something I can kind of, uh, break into, which I don't like them all of a sudden. And the reason being is, there's a weird tint to them. I thought they were all silver, but they have a, a fade to them. So it goes silver, dark, silver. These are the Strike King S11 Optics. Um, this is the Okeechobee model, I believe. Let me just double check. Yep, S1158 Okeech Okeechobees. Um, I'm gonna have to put them aside and see how I like them. I'm not gonna try them on right now because I don't feel like it. It's not gonna be able to really tell because it's dark in here. So put that back in there. These are the second pair I've had, but the first pair weren't with S11. S11, so check to see how that is, but I don't like how they do that. So I'll put that on the side. Um, well, let's go with the Strike Kings first. Oh, Jesus. Strike Kings first. So all of them, which are Strike King, Rage Tail, uh, Rage Crawls, I'm firm. Firm, firm believer in these all back in. So the Rage Tails. <clears throat> um, like I said, I, you can use these for anything. Um, big, firm believer, warm water baits. I uh, haven't really tried them out too much in the cold, but usually I don't throw around soft plastics in the cold, um, especially ones that make a lot of noise and um, 
action, which these do, by the way. Uh, favorite color? I mean, you can never go wrong with black and blue. Black and blue. Um, these are probably... Uh, it's called Black and Blue Flake. I'm not sure if you can see that. Black and Blue Flake. Love them. Um, put them on almost everything. <clears throat> Can't go wrong with Green Pumpkin. Actually, I got three Black and Blue Flakes. Uh, green Pumpkins. And then I use a lot of Watermelon Red Flake, which uh, seems to match the water clarity inside of South Jersey. Oh, and try a new color because I, I had the Rage Tail uh, small ones, the smaller Rage Tails. And I do really well with the Bama Cross, so got the bigger pack of the Bama Cross. Um, they have like a hint of orange in them, which I am a firm believer that all the crawls up here uh, via experimentation. And if you have them, uh, have bass in your live well, they'll kind of puke up crawls and they look just like this, where it's like a dark uh, green pumpkin and it has orange. So if you guys can see that, I know the lighting is a little off, so uh, this may be a little bit better. Awesome baits, awesome baits. <clears throat> so moving on, I don't want to spend too much time opening off all, all of these. Let me put this light back up. Uh got these and I'm going to try them. Um, I am a lover of chatterbaits. Love, love, love chatterbaits. Absolutely love chatterbaits. I think you, they're very versatile. Um, the best chatterbait that I tend to find that works best for me is the Z-Man Project Z's. Uh, 3 8 ounce um, I got a couple new colors and I actually just restocked on black and blue just because I beat mine to hell It's all messed up. The lead is starting to chip the paint and I just throw it up against anything. So um, Doing a different color which I don't know how I feel about all the fancy schmancy colors and This one to a degree is a little fancy um, But it looks really good It is breaking brim brim brim. Let me just double check Bacon brim, breaking brim, brim, it's actually brim. But if you look at that, it has a hint of green pumpkin, blue, uh, yellow, orange. It looks just like a sunfish or a bluegill. Um, and ultimately, you put any trailer on there. I use a lot of, as you can see, a lot of PTL grubs. Uh, these are soaked in freaking hog tonic. So uh, when these come to you, actually, I mean, as you can see, I have a lot of them. When they come to you, just be careful. They have hog tonic, and these are the pro packs. Hog tonic just spewing over the place, and the bags are all greasy, so I keep them kind of separated with everything else. But I just put a grub in the back, and then you have the uh, the black and blue. But what I'm trying different is uh, kind of the chatterbait with the swim bait in the back. Um, and I'm trying these. Uh, basically, the Z-Man Razor Sheds. Um, you know, the, the whole chatter swim uh, is really popular, but Z-Man never actually created any type of uh, swim bait to put on. So a lot of people are kind of um, using different swim baits, um, different type of uh, uh, soft plastics on the back. I was actually using Lake Fork Guy's, uh, Lake Fork's uh, tackle, um, based on Lake Fork Guy, who is really good. He uses a lot of these chatter bait or chatter swims. Um, but as you can see, made out of Elastex, super durable, um, and being that it floats, uh, we'll see how that goes. Because oftentimes I'll actually throw it, uh, let it sink to the bottom, and then if this floats, it's probably going to put the, the bait like that at the bottom. Granted, we'll see how it works. I haven't used these yet. They just came out um, earlier this year, so we'll see how that works. And mind you, these are Elastex, so you got to be super careful on how you store these. And granted, I do a lot of bank fishing, so hopefully these don't melt all over the place. Um, got those in Green Pumpkin. IU, which looks really good. I mean, that thing looks really good. Let me show you guys. Woo. It's like a dark, dark green pumpkin with, I'm going to say black, but instead of green pumpkin. 
has a nice shade of silver at the underbody. I mean, these look really good. Kind of pricey, I mean, but they are elastics. They last forever to a degree. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna stay on your hook for a great amount of time. Um, where I want to take a look at is that which paper one of these probably will last you a whole bag of trailers, not the PTLs, but I mean, they are elastic, so we'll see how that goes. And I got black and blue. They are really soft. Um, it's weird because Tackle Warehouse didn't say they're elastic, so I was kind of curious if they are, but they seem to be obviously elastic, 10 times tough, so good stuff. Put that on the side. Uh, while we are still on D Man, I guess I have more elastic. Trying something new with Z Man. Um, Z Man just came out with a whole bunch of uh, chatter swim jigs. I'm sorry, swim jigs. Which honestly look really good. And I was quite skeptical, and I got a couple swim jigs. Um, you know, springtime is just right around the corner, and obviously it's the northeast, and wintertime is just now hitting us, yet we have 60, 70 degree weather right now. So um, I'm really digging these swim jigs because uh, the spad docks and, the, and the, the lily pads, it's annoying to put through a uh, chatterbait in there. I mean, granted, these are a lot uh, a lot more weedless than spinnerbait or anything else, uh, especially on a single hook. Uh, so they're great, but I mean, when it comes down to a swim jig, it's just so hard. Uh, to replace the swim jig and if you guys can see this color is baby bass That thing looks really good. I mean, let me just make sure you guys can see this That's baby bass right there And it looks really good uh, Let me see if I can change this lighting around Who knows if this video is going to come out right? So that's baby bass. Nah, black and blue, looks good. No different. Another one is the breaking brim. Another one that looks really good. You know, has your same color profile as this, just a lot more weedless. Um, different head style. Even though you would think that they would use the same head style, but different. Uh, the swim jig has definitely a flatter bottom. So I guess if you did want to drop it on the ground or drop it towards the uh, bottom of the lake or pond, it's not going to catch everything and it's going to sit upright. Um, looks like a 45 degree. Right there on par. So another one that I'm really excited to use and I'm sure I'm going to put a whole bunch of different uh, trailers in the back. Swim jig. Very nice stuff. Put that one aside. <clears throat> Can't go wrong with uh, War Eagle um, buzz baits. The one thing about this that I have a ton of different buzz baits. I mean, got your oh here's the to a degree, the Lake Fork, uh, Lake Fork Shed, Cavitrons, Booyahs, Clappers. I mean, I have a whole bunch of uh, different buzz baits, but. The difference between the War Eagle and it, it's a, it's a 3 8 size, so it's not overly, but just that, that sound is super annoying, <laughs> and it just seems to me, let me find another, oh, here's a 3 8 ounce, and it's stuck with this towel, here's another 3 8 ounce, and if you look at that spinner, it is so much bigger in profile. It's going to displace more water. But that looks way better. I mean, just the head profile. And you guys have seen it. I mean, War Eagle is pretty damn good at making these buzz baits. And hook is really stout. I mean, this seems really good. At first, I was kind of skeptical when I first started using them. The uh, the buzzer part, or I don't even know what to call it, the spin spinner part, just looked a lot cheaper. Uh, I don't know why, but after using it, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. 
uh, they just produce and they're really smooth. So let me put that back in. Throw that back in. And if you guys didn't know, I mean, just from reading, custom hand tied skirts, no trailers needed, must add ultra power point hooks, um, light wire for better vibration in the following three to silence this in there. Um, they said reusable package. I mean, the reusable package. <clears throat> Where I was talking about the swim jigs from Revenge, uh, I'm sorry, the Project Z. I got myself some Revenge Swim Baits, uh, I'm sorry, Jesus, Swim Jigs, uh, 3 8 ounce, similar type of color scheme, black and blue, you just can't go wrong with black and blue. I mean, with the water uh, clarity in South Jersey, uh, very murky, muddy, um, you got some clear lakes, but very dirty, so black and blue is always going to show up really well. Um, obviously, as it clears up and you uh, beat the banks, we got the... 3 8 ounce bluegill, which is, I wouldn't be surprised, breaking brim, whatever, same stuff. Um, but it looks good. Looks, that one looks really good too. I actually prefer, I don't know, I mean both of them look really good, but it seems like this one's already chipping the line tie part. Let me see. Yeah. The revenge though, head design. I mean, just the graphics on the head look that much better, actually. Um, but man, both of them look really good. I'm actually really, really excited to use these. Hook Keeper is actually really aggressive, too, so you don't have to worry about your trailers falling off. I was talking about line. I actually was going to get uh, Sunline FX2. Um, I don't know why. I just somehow, while I was on Tackle Warehouse... I just ordered what I was most comfortable in. Um, and now I was telling myself to get Sunline FX2, but then I ended up getting Suffix 832. Uh, very good. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed with Suffix, it's actually really loud through your guides. I don't know why, but I was using 50 pound at one time. Um, I actually downgraded or downsized, I'm sorry, to 30 pound. Um, I've noticed that, honestly, um, I'm not fishing like the Delta, so it's not going to be going through... Uh, ridiculous amounts of uh, cover um, so 30 pounds seems good for me uh, I can use it for a number of different applications so uh, suffix 832 is what I actually started using um, stick to soft plastics gambler 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 so um, ordered a whole bunch of gamblers because one uh, I needed some jig trailers, I needed some swim jig trailers, so I was thinking about a couple of different things that I wanted. One, I wanted a twin tail grub, and out of all the twin tail grubs, I've used this before. This is the Gambler twin tail grub and green pumpkin. Just this design, I mean, you can use it on a swim jig, you can use it on a spinner bait, you can use it on a uh, jig trailer, um, spinner bait. I mean, just the, I just love the way it's designed. It's like perfect for everything. Uh, it's not too big, you don't have to chop it off. Um, but I use some small Ike missile jigs and I can put it on there. And the tentacles, I mean, well, one of the little curlies, curls, just make a lot of action. So, I'm a fan and I, whew, they smell garlicky. And they, feel, they have a lot of stuff on them. So, that, I got the black and blue, um, and it's got a couple, I got two for two, two green pumpkins, you can put on anything, black and blue. Uh, I love crankbaits, so when I could get a sale on them, got some Lucky Craft 1.5s, uh, this one right here, it's called Black Moss, it has, has some silver on it, has some um, black on it, and obviously chartreuse, as you can see. And then this one, B.E. Gill. I want to say it's just bluegill, so don't worry about B.E. Gill, but um, looks good. It's not as shiny as I thought. It has some blue tint to it, uh, but it looks good. I mean, 1.5. Lucky crafts aren't uh, cheap, so 
granted I would only be bringing these out in certain applications um, but I have to need throw them all the time anyways <clears throat> but I've just had a hard time really kind of finding something that replaces the 1.5 Strikings uh, KVD models um, Lucky Craft I mean, they make really solid stuff so I am excited about that so this um, as you guys can see <clears throat> JJ's Magic um, you know I've never really used JJ's Magic ever and I was just looking at Fluke Master's video and I really wanted to start kind of using it um, I'm actually deathly terrified of it because you guys know how it is I mean you can't leave it in your bag you can't leave it tilted over you can't can't do much with it, especially with me. I'm a bank angler, I'm a bank fisherman. Um, I, I do do tournaments on the boat, but I mean, even on the boat, I like to keep things inside of my book bag. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to really sit there and, and be dipping things. But as you guys can see, uh, caution, under pressure, open slowly. So the one thing you don't wanna do with this is keep in direct heat because it does expand. And if it expands, laying like this you're gonna dye everything that this is contained with so if it's in your book bag your whole book bag is gonna get dyed so i'm gonna try to figure out exactly how i want to use this and how i want to do it um you know what let's just give a quick demonstration Ooh, it is oh my god jeez almighty and i've already gotten it all over my fingers so that is awesome. Holy. Don't do what I just did. Ow. This stuff is strong. I mean, super strong. But let's just put one tentacle in there. Wow. Jeez almighty. Oh, that is some strong stuff. I'm sorry, I should not have opened this. Whew. As you can see, it's already starting to turn chartreuse. It has that glow. I mean, granted, this is some really thin green pumpkin, so. But if you can see it, I, I don't know if you can see it right there. It actually looks really cool. It almost has like a fluorescent, um, fluorescent like highlighter-ish uh, glow to it, so. That is awesome. That is awesome. So I'm going to put that right there. Yeah, that looks really good. But that was some serious stuff. So um, I'm going to have to make sure I don't do that again. Uh, with that being said, guys, that's all I've got. Uh, $250, well, $265 worth of stuff. I'm going to take a look into uh, the Strike King glasses if I really want them or not. Um, but soft plastic wise. You guys saw it, a lot of uh, soft plastics, a lot of jig trailers, a lot of swim jig trailers, a lot of uh, chatterbait trailers. You got swim jigs, you got the Z-Man, Project Z uh, chatterbaits, firm, firm believer in them. Uh, Rage Tail, Rage Crawls, you got JJ's Magic. So uh, with that being said, uh, hope you guys like my video. That's all I've got for you. Have a good one.